Hi, thank you, everyone. So as Stephen said, my name is Karma Scarato. I'm with Free Press Action. And I'm really grateful to be part of this conversation. And I really want to thank everyone who has shared their stories so far. Um, I feel really privileged to be here sharing the space with you um, and to work together to move policymakers, uh, to really show them that the right to connect is not a privilege. It's a basic human right. Um, it is not a luxury. It's a necessity. So I want to take a little bit of time and just take you back to a few years ago. Um, as a Puerto Rican, I was born on the island and I had so much of my family there uh, when Hurricane Maria struck. And I remember trying to get a hold of them to make sure that they were okay. And I was really lucky. I was able to reach them, but that wasn't the case for a lot of other people, including some of my colleagues. Um, as many of you know, the communications network after Hurricane Maria was devastated there. So a year later, we were actually able to go uh, to Vieques and Comerillo in Puerto Rico, and we heard from people there. And we heard about what it was like to not be connected. And they told us that it made them fear for their own safety um, and the safety of their loved ones. It also restricted their ability to physically move because they didn't know which areas were safe and which areas were, um, were dangerous. And it also impeded their ability to call for help or even know if help was coming. And these stories really struck me. Um, and now I can see that though a hurricane and a pandemic are very different types of disasters, they do have one thing in common. And this is something that Leonard said earlier and Olivia just mentioned. It's that getting and staying connected is a life and death issue. Um, and when we're disconnected, it, it means isolation. It means not knowing. And that's what's happening across our country. So as you heard, um, incarcerated people had a great difficulty getting and staying connected to their loved ones even before the pandemic. So the good news is that there are ways to help. And as Stephen mentioned earlier, we join media justice in demanding that the Federal Communications Commission make all calls free um, and that this must be extended for everyone to local and state facilities. And there's also much more that Congress can do. Um, we actually put together several suggestions to bolster the programs uh, like you've heard today, programs like Lifeline and E-Rate uh, to provide emergency funds to ensure that people can get and stay connected during this pandemic. And what the reality is, is that this pandemic and our recovery is going to be long, but our ability to get through this will turn on whether all of us, whoever we are, can get and stay connected. Thank you.